Hey guys, Southern Sun here. In this video, I will show you how I make my own audio visualizer in my videos using the Z Game Editor Visualizer in FL Studio. So first of all, you're gonna need an audio for the video, and after that, two images, one for the background and one for the picture in the middle of the video, where your audio visualizer will be shown. So. Let's open up the Z Game Editor Visualizer. So I already opened up in here. And before doing your own audio visualizer, you need to drag first your audio to the playlist, which I already did it in here. So you can see that in here. So to that, let's open up using the visualizer so after that we're gonna add the pictures the background and the circle image thing so i already have them ready so these are the two images that i will use so after that i click click on the image so after that I will click on the image shows into my background which is the Diplo JPEG and as you can see here oops so it's just a, a small image so you must drag this to the right so to large enough so and after that you're gonna click on this plus icon so it will add a new layer in the zk editor visualizer after this you need to add your own image again and after that your own circle image in the middle of the video so which i have in here like this so next after that we're gonna add the main ingredient which is the polar and it's in the pit effect so polar and so after that we're gonna increase the radius so it will fit perfectly in this in the other part of the image so just like this and after that when i play the it shows up like this so, so the bars are going inside the circle and outside of it so you're gonna drag this polarity to the right side and after that i if i do that watch so now it's in the outside of the image in the middle so if you want to to change the color of your polar so you can do this saturation and the it's a rainbow thing so you can change it to match your background and your object in the middle of the video so i'm gonna choose the color blue so it can match up with my background so when I play the video, it will be like this. And if you're asking how I make those effects in the background, which there are like circles popping out, so I did that by clicking here and doing the it's full of stars clicking here. So it will just appear like that and 
to show it behind the visualizer so you just need to click in this icon and drag it before the second layer and it will like this so it's now in the back of the visualizer so i'll change the color for it so it can match up my background so i mix up the situation again and adjust the so it will be on the color Lovely, so it's like that and after uh, that you're pretty much done and if you have optional optional effects so you can just add new layer and do whatever you want so after that if you want to render the video so just click on settings and export the video and name this whatever you want so for example i will, I will make this as oh so something like that and i click save so in this video export settings you want to make sure that you choose between here so you have the YouTube 720p HD, the 1080p HD, the 2K resolution, the 4K resolution, and the 5K resolution. So, in my advanced export settings, I like to keep it in this and the audio bitrate in 220kbps. So, as far as I know, and probably every one knows that youtube compresses their audio quality into 128 kilobits per second or something like that but they they actually compress the audio quality of the video so make sure that you render it in the highest quality possible so it will not be affected too much when you upload a video and after you click ok it actually shows that you can render your video with a wave with a wave file included in the mp3 for the audio included so it's up to you and after that you can now upload your video to youtube and that's pretty much it so see you later guys this is southern sun and i hope you like this video